Good morning, everyone. And thank you for giving me opportunity to sharing my story and my journey with all of you. There is the pain without this condition that surpasses the physical ache. There, there are symptoms of this condition that transcend past anatomic effect. My suffering went beyond physical discomfort. It was experienced through social isolation, emotional exhaustion, and financial obstacles. My name is Jasna Tursic, and I'm a lifelong lipoedema patient and fighter for my health. I'm one of a million of women who endure this condition and every mental, physical, emotional tool it takes. Today, I would like to contribute to this event by disclosing a perspective that no doctor, researcher, or surgeon can provide for you. And that is my first-hand experience as lipoedema patient. The greatest service I have to offer to this day of education and passion is to share my personal insight by taking you through my journey to health. Since puberty, my life has been a serious trial of error, including several surgeries, misdiagnosis, and wasted investment, to finally finding life-changing solution. I would like to take you through my journey. As a child, I was always skinny, but during puberty, I started to develop thicker legs and swollen ankles. I began to recognize difference in my body to comparing myself to other girls. During puberty, my lipoedema started to set in the form of isolation. When you look up term lipoedema, isolation is not listed as a symptom, but this results of lipoedema just as a swelling is. As my ankles and legs prog progressively got bigger, I would cover them up. This condition wasn't my fault, yet I took on the daily tool of being held back from living to the fullest potential. I feel like my body was a barrier that was in the way of my true character. My body didn't feel like a vessel or a sanctuary. It felt like a distraction from my true identity. No matter what season it was or what temperature was outside, I was bound to wearing compressor stocking for 12 years, just to just somewhat cope with the pain in my legs, my skin like of color from constantly covering them. Lipoedema is genetic, but I was only one in my family who had it. I that by me. Now I know it was me because I don't, never, I don't ever give up. And during this condition, as a young woman, I miss out a usual experience of young adulthood. That is spending time with friends, dating, and meeting new people. I was always confident in myself, but I was embarrassed. I was constantly focused on how others perceive me because of my condition. It almost felt that there was something on my face. While I did feel embarrassed, I did not give up hope and love for myself. Romantic relationships were challenging because of my appearance. My appearance felt more important than my internal self. I have so much love to give in both romantic and non romantic relationship, but my heart was rejected by my body or my legs. Feeling separated between me and the rest of the world was emotional draining. I pushed my emotional endurance to the limit to remain positive. Daily function I used to never think twice about become extremely difficult to perform. And I had to send my 67-year-old mother to get things for me because I was in pain. 
I know life, lipoedema is not life of or death, but it's devastating. What made it devastating <clears throat> was that people assume the condition was my fault. This condition was out of my hand. No matter how healthy I ate or how much I exercised. I went to the doctor and they will just say, you don't eat healthy, you don't exercise enough, and you were born just that way. People at work that I overate at home, I was trying to prove something for so long, but I felt nobody believed me. As all may know, lipoedema is still such a little known condition. Physician, co-workers, and my loved ones all questioned me when I said I was de dealing with condition that was out of my control. Dealing with disease that is unknown to the world, you feel incredible alone. I try seeking help from physician who were just in dark about my condition as I was. Maintaining hope was incre incredible crucial for me, but I stay strong despite those who challenge my optimism. I remember seeing a doctor who said, I will end up in wheelchair in six months. He said, I don't know what you have, by the look of your tissue right now, I'm going to give you six months before you will be in wheelchair. In the presence of my mom, devastation, and my frustration from his word, he only offered one solution to me. Go for disability and get painkillers. I told him, you don't know what I have and you don't know me. I'm going to find solution. I'm not going to end up in wheelchair. Staying strong, I told my mom, I will find solution. You know I always do. While I stay strong, my strength was tested with several complications, pre-diagnosis, results are for in vitro fertilization in 1996, my condition got worse. Between 2008 and 2012, at the point, I was having MLD therapy done five times in a week. And eventually, I was misdiagnosed with lymphoedema, and I had five unsuccessful vein surgery. 2012, the biggest trigger was when I had gynecological surgery. Shortly after this surgery, my, my nightmare start. My legs start to swell so badly. Unhealthy color tissue start to hang around my ankles. As I have mentioned, we sadly didn't discover that lymphoedema was misdiagnosis after five unsuccessful vein surgery. Sadly, it was not option for insurance to cover those procedures. MLD therapy included. Insurance denied and stopped to cover anything because I had something that was unknown to them. I tried to take matters in my own hands and seek for my own homeopathic remedies. I bought on my own medical devices. In that year, prior to surgery, I spent $23,000 from my pocket. Thank you. Finally, after emotional exhaustion and financial damaging series of trial and error, I received correct diagnosis from cardiologist in Utah. Later on, it was confirmed by Dr. Karen Herbst that I had stage two lipoedema. My lipoedema diagnosis was a big sign of hope. I was so relieved to have professional finally tell me that all my struggles were valid there were research and they were giving solution. Although I was tried for many failed attempts to find treatment, 
I felt my energy restored when I was finally given the correct di diagnosis. Dr. Herbs presented me with the list of potential treatments option, surgery included. At this point, I felt like I have tried everything possible except for surgery. This was my last option, and I had complete faith in it because I know living with lipoedema wasn't my fate. I know in my heart that treatment was with me rich and I start to gain hope that lipoedema liposuction will be turning point in my life. Surgery was one of things I have not tried and I had hope that was the answer. It was meant to be that I found Dr. David Amron. One day was a doctor conference at University of Utah where I work. Our clinic was closed and we didn't have a patient. I asked 20 of my co-workers to research on Google for the best rated liposuction specialist. And Dr. Amron came up. I saw that he was very well rated dermatological surgeon. May 13, 2013, my birthday. I celebrate the day of my birth. But this birthday was unlikely any other. I was about to be reborn into new life as a treated lipoedema patient. This day was when I flew to LA and I meet Dr. Amron, day before my lipo, edema liposuction surgery. The next day, my life was about to take the most positive turning point I have ever faced. Throughout the journey, I have spoken to plenty of professionals who had no answer for me. Dr. Amron was only one who was willing to perform surgery. When I went to see Dr. Amron, I was crying and I just said, do your best. I didn't ask many questions or almost any. I just had faith in him. After five years, I still look my legs and I can believe they are mine. I call them my Dr. Amron legs. <laughs> it was crucial to keep faith that someone could help me. I never give up. People saw my situation as hopeless and it would be if I didn't have endless amount of hope. I had to keep faith in myself, even if others didn't. I had to prove to others that this condition wasn't my fault <clears throat> and that I wasn't problem. There was the situation. The truth didn't make any sense to anyone but myself because I have lived it. Dr. Amron had uh, done his part, now the faith of my life post lipoedema surgery was up to me. The disease fat was removed. It was in my hands to maintain healthy life. I know <clears throat> I now felt capable of performing fun function I was unable to perform before surgery. A healthy life was not given to me. It was made more accessible. I understood that pursuing healthy lifestyle was up to me. Women with lipoedema have to work twice as hard for help of results. I know that I would have to put in extra hard work to maintain healthy life, and I was willing to maintain healthy lifestyle, even though my life is so busy. I ate salad, I ate a lot of protein, most gluten-free food. I committed to healthy lifestyle, no diet. And I lost 72 pounds within six months after my surgery. Thank you. Now there is so much more information about lipoedema, but when I went through my journey, there were barely any resources. It was like looking through the so many doors without being able to open them. 
While there were not many resources about uh, lipoedema during my journey, there are plenty now. Positive resources that exist now for women like me. There are books, forums, Facebook, social media accounts, and more that um, unite women living with lipoedema. I love to be contact. I talk to hundreds and hundreds of patients. I don't want anyone to go through the process alone. I open my door to everyone. I talk and I, I encourage anyone who is going through this journey to reach out to me through social media. I would highly recommend the book by Dr. Karen Herbs, Living with Lipoedema, and the book Power of Subconscious Mind by Joseph Murphy, which really helped me go through that time. I have gotten to know a lot of women living with lipoedema and Dr. Amron lipoedema patient. Living with lipoedema and seeking treatment is very emotional thing. And I love being able to help these women through their journey. Support was so important for me and for my journey. And the least I can do is offer support to others who are going through a similar journey. I have started finding myself as a resource to other women who are dealing with lipoedema. I don't have all answers, but I'm sure of the key of the factor necessary to grow. Fight and embrace this journey. A community of strong women, optimism, awareness, and knowledge. To any woman who are living with lipoedema, wherever you are, in your journey, undiagnosed, pre-treatment, post-treatment, no treatment. I can say with honestly that having a community and support system are most important elements in this process. My hope was always challenge, but I continue to have a faith there was new life waiting for me. I will never forget the day when I went shopping with my mom and this is truly a true story. And I saw the woman on the poster with short sundress and sandals. I'm wearing the sandals today. Wearing something like this was a dream for me. I look at the poster and I say to my mom, I'm going to wear this someday. In the moment when I saw the poster of my faith and all my faith and hope was released, that someday <clears throat> I would look like that woman. My mother felt so bad for me in that moment because in her mind, this seemed impossible. And she thought there was no way I would ever wear this sundress. As I said, I would one day wear dress. My mom dropped all her, her item. We were in the checkout line and she left in tears. My mom did not have a faith that I did, but I, I was certain that I would wear that dress someday. Two years after surgery with Dr. Amron, I found myself in some checkout line that I was years ago. Checkout line that my mom left. Finally, after a lifetime of dreaming about wearing the same clothing, as a girl on the poster, I was in line to purchase similar sundress with sandals. I went home to my mom and I walked up, up to her to the balcony. Taking those steps toward my mom, it was making impossible possible. It was my, my biggest victory. This is fight what I fought with my own straight. But I would not be able to achieve that I, uh, that I didn't have support from my mom and Dr. Amron treatment. I would not have a story to tell here in front of you today. There is no day that passes that I'm not thankful to Dr. Amron and the new life he was giving me. The light of the tunnel is not only my arrival to happier life, but this effort that 
I made in Lipoedema community and grow all knowledge and resources. If you are fighting the same fate, <clears throat> you may think, why me? I think this is more power, most powerful sentence which I'm going to tell you now in all my speech. I know why you, just as I know why me. We have the strength not only to hold on, but to lift others and embrace this journey. I am happy to say that I can look back at my story with so much gratitude for the support I have found from others, the lessons I have learned from challenging and straight that I truly found in myself. Thank you.